hey there so in this video we're going to take a look at a new tool from adobe called animate from audio where you can record some audio it creates an animation you can also pre-record your audio and upload it and create your animation that way now i'm going to go off in a few tangents we'll start by looking at the animate from audio interface and some of the options that you've got there we'll talk about creating custom backgrounds uh, for your animations and i'll use google slides in order to create that custom background and then we'll look at when we export the video to an MP4 and how we can get that into a Google slide and set it so that it plays automatically or becomes interactive. Let's take a look. All right, so here we are in the interface for Animate from Audio. Uh, a few things that you can change. You can change your character uh, and set that to whatever you want. So they've got some preset characters here uh, under some different characters, uh, sorry, uh, categories. Uh, work your way through that. So I might go with the human one and we'll have a crack at this one. Uh, you can change the size of the video. Now the reason, I'll, I'll show you in a minute why I've jumped straight to size and not background. But there are some presets here uh, that, you can, that you can use. So you might use the YouTube one for example as your, as your preset. You, you can also set it to custom if you know specifically where you're going to use it. So we'll go with YouTube for the minute. Uh, now make a note here of these dimensions because if you want to customize your background, we're going to need that. But under the backgrounds tab, there are some preset backgrounds that you can use. You can also just upload an image that you might already have or one that you get, remembering to keep it copyright free from the internet. But if you want to create your own, a quick and easy way to, to do that is to simply jump over to um, Google uh, Slides. So we'll just go back and check our size here. So 1920 by 1080. So what we can do is we can actually go to File and Page Setup. And then we can go Custom. Change that to Pixels. And... Uh, was it 1920 by 1080? Apply. So that sets the the slide to the correct size. That's going to match what you've got over here in Animate from Audio. And then you can so we'll just keep it relatively simple. We'll make the text huge and we'll center it and we'll go ahead and change the background to change the background what I did there was I right click on the slide and go to change background and we'll change the color to something sort of semi opaque and go done that's not why I'm looking very centered let's just center that a bit better all right and then when you've got your background looking the way you want come to file download as either a JPEG or a PNG. JPEG is probably the safest. And we'll save that to our desktop because that's where everything goes. All right, and then back over here, when we go to background, we can upload the image that we did before. You will have issues occasionally getting it to uh, to match. Uh, didn't actually choose it, that was my fault. And one of the things you can't do is you can't actually move the character around. That's not an option. Well, not one that I've found yet anyway. Okay, so when you've got your background and your size sorted out and you've chosen your character, you need to go ahead and record your audio. You can also pre-record one somewhere else. Uh, that's helpful if you've got a particular microphone that you're using. Otherwise, it's just going to default and use the microphone that's built into your laptop. Uh, one of the things that we'll do is we'll ask for permission to um, access your microphone the first time you do this. So we're going to go ahead and hit record. Hi students, welcome back. So this week we're going to spend some time looking at historical significance and we'll look at some case studies of things that have happened in the past 
and have actually impacted how things work today. Let's go. And then we'll go done. Now there will be a, a bit of a lag here while it processes your video. So it'll take a little bit of time. Obviously, the longer you uh, record for, the longer it's going to take to actually process and do the lip sync and all the rest of it. Now, one of the things we're going to need to do in a moment is we're going to need to sign into our Adobe account. Now, here at Harare International School, we have Adobe accounts for you. So you can just connect using your Google account. Now, if it doesn't work for some reason the first time you do it, we may need to do something in the back end to set that up for you. Not a problem, just send a help desk ticket through and we'll get that sorted out for you as soon as possible. All right, so that's now completed. There we go. And you can do a little bit more editing here. So you can see you've got your waveform down here. So you can actually grab this thing here and drag it so that you're trimming it to be exactly what you need. And then you can go ahead and um, preview it. Hi students, welcome back. So this week we're going to spend some time looking at historical significance and all the case right. studies and things. So you get the idea there. And then you go ahead and download it. So this is so if you're happy with it, you can go ahead and download it. Otherwise, you can go back to editing and you know change your character and whatever. Remembering that if you do change any of this stuff, you're going to have to re-render it and go through that processing step again. Um, so we go back to preview. Uh, we've trimmed it. Yep. So it's still trimmed. Awesome. And then we go download. All right, so you'll get this thing here uh, asking you to sign up or sign in. You're going to go ahead and sign in. I generally suggest to people that we go with the login with school account over here. And then continue with Google. If you get this option here, go ahead with the enterprise ID because it's connected to your HIS account. There we go and that'll download so you choose somewhere where you want to download that so i'm going to put that in my google drive now this is a whole other video so i'm not going to get into this um, but i've connected my laptop to my google drive to sort of make things a little bit easier it just removes that uploading step but that's a whole other video uh so we go save all right so that's now done now keep in mind that you will need to give the google drive side of things a chance to um actually process that video before it actually becomes uh, available so we'll see how we go with that all right, now to, you can put that anywhere and you can do multiple videos and uh, stitch them together using something like Wii Video, for example, and sort of have some of the, several of them back to back. Uh, I haven't found yet the limit to the recordings with this. Uh, I imagine there is one. Uh, so that's something that we will probably find by trial and error. But if you do come across that, not a drama, just do it in segments and then stitch them together using something like we video all right so here's one way that you can use that video that you have created uh, i'll go ahead and get rid of that so it's actually been created as a, a video so just to show you what that looks just so just to show you what that uh looks like so that will sit, uh, where do I put it, samples. All right, so there's the, the video that we created there. So you can see that it's an MP4. It's sitting in Google Drive. Uh, otherwise, you'll need to download it to your laptop and then upload it into your Google Drive. Uh, I've already got it in my Google Drive, so I can go ahead and go insert video I'm going to go to Google Drive and it will show up as one of your recents. So we can go ahead and select that. 
right so there's a the video there so it because it was short it got processed fairly quickly and so position that uh, where you need it now what you can do is you leave it like this right and students would need to click on it to get the in instructions or if it's student work you would need to click on it to to hear what they've said uh, you can also under the format options now if these format options don't show up you select the video and you've got format options here and you can change this option here from play and click to play automatically now if they're looking at it in this editor view here they're not going to uh, actually see the video play automatically it's got to be in the slideshow or present mode so when you're sharing the link what you can do is edit the link so here where it's got the word edit actually delete everything after that and type in the word present and then select that copy that link Hi students, welcome back. So this week we're going to spend some time looking at... So you can see there that as soon as they click the link, it will play that slide. And if they work their way through the slide presentation, each time you've got one of these animations on the slide, it will uh, automatically play the video for you as long as you've got that option to play automatically set here back in the format options. So there you go, another option to add some variety to your teaching materials. Alternatively, another way for students to demonstrate their learning in a fun and creative way. As always, if you've got any dramas with getting any of this to work, let me know and uh, we'll come get you sorted out. Cheers.